I've been watching Taxi Before Bed. It's like a good wind down show. Man, Andy Kaufman's so funny on that show. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You should watch Andy Kaufman. When he was on Saturday Night Live, he was a guest in the 70s a lot. And he did the Mighty Mouse. He did the Mighty Mouse, which everybody knows. But then he did another one where he played the foreign guy that ended Vodka. up being on Taxi. Yeah. yeah. But he did it in a way that was so fucking, it's the hardest I'd ever laughed in my life up to that moment. Wow. That's why I really? remember it. Yes. Pull it up. He, I don't know if you have it. It's it's him doing Foreign Man on Saturday Night Live. If it's out there, and, he will not find it. And he's it. doing <laughs> he's doing inept impressions of people in his Foreign Man character, and then he starts crying, and I don't want to ruin beyond that. SNL had some balls. It was so experimental, and it, they found interesting comedy. Yeah. I feel like all of yeah, now yeah. it doesn't have that uh, the they balls. Don't, they in don't that. have stand ups anymore at all. Well, well, that's not true. They, 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 oh, no, they have people Jane host. Yeah, yeah, they have yeah. people host. Bill Burr. Yeah. But Andy wasn't like as big as those guys yeah. when he did this. But like Norm MacDonald. We discovered him here. Is a stand-up comedian, but they would put him in the Weekend Update. They'd put him in as Letterman or Larry King. Or yeah, whatever, yeah, And it was yeah. so fucking funny. Almost Tarantino? He Tarantino, did. because he was oh, kind of bad Tarantino, at it. no, his Tarantino was amazing. I, I know, know, but it, was, it wasn't like, he wasn't like a trained actor, you no, know, but or he, like a Will Ferrell. He was good, but I mean, I think now it's all political. Everything- It's all political! What the fuck? Comedy's really- what well, ever since 9-11, I think. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think it was later than that. I think 9-11 made everybody, the stakes just became higher. I think it's social media. I think it's No, and now it's been, I, I, I'm saying exponentially, you're right. Yes, now it's increased even more with social but media. But now what you do is not political. No. Not we not. try to avoid that too, I think. I mean, no, like, no, there's an try. audience for, for what you do, without yeah. a doubt. I'm just saying, like, all the late night shows are incredibly. They lean in too hard. Yeah, they lean in really hard. Yeah. And yeah. it's all the same joke after a while. We got it. Well, it becomes like an echo chamber. Yeah. Exactly. Like, John Stewart, did you have you seen any of his? Yeah, he hit both shows? sides a little bit. Yeah, so he goes on the but first. But he's getting shit for this. Yes, yeah, that's what was no so great. What. No, well, here's what happened. So the first daily show, he comes on and he dares to suggest that maybe they're not doing the best job. Proving that Joe Biden is fit for office. Yes, you know, yes. they like put him, they didn't have him do a Super Bowl interview. They had him do some really silly, silly question and answer thing. First time in history, by the way, the president has not done that. Is that true? Yes. It's, Jesus. It's, it's fucked up. Yeah. We should be able so, to talk about these things. So then he got so fucking attacked for daring to suggest, you know, there's too much at stake. You can't do that. But then the next week, his ratings were even higher. Yeah. Which proves that, like, if you walk through the fire, people are, yeah, the, it, it would be nice to have nuance in political comedy. Well, the, be people nice. have, you know, I think what you're, what you're saying is right, but then people become so used to just hearing their echo chamber that you're right, oh, they're, yeah. sh they're shocked that someone would dare to maybe question no. you know, yes. that something on their side well, is. Well, just perfect. this idea that political comedy has to be used as a weapon I to know. try to elect people instead of just being political comedy. Yes, well, we've you done know? a thing now where you kind of can't say anything anymore, but comics still can. So I think people gravitate towards comics to be like, say it, say it. Or well, I yeah. get that all the time. Speak out on this. I'm like, I'm a fucking comedian. I'm a clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak yeah. out. I got eight no, minutes on jizz. <laughs> leave, leave me alone. It's your best material. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but that's you. You that must be nice for you. That's good. Well, relief. I, I did try to do political magic at one point. I did a Comedy Central pilot where I was. It was kind of like a Colbert approach, like a little bit, you know, kind of. Uh, well, actually, a little bit more like naively exploring both sides. Like I, I built Trump's wall and walked through it. <laughs> That's funny. Copperfield's That's funny. walking through the Great Wall of China. So I went to a Trump rally and was like, "All right, let me prove that this is see if it's a good idea or not." And yeah, the wall. that's great. And people, uh, the people, obviously, the people who are who hate Trump loved it. But everyone who loves magic, but just also. You know, doesn't d doesn't like uh, the jabbing at their their favorite guy. Like, just hey. I am no longer a fan. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Sorry, lost you lost fan. me. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. A and month it... later, I'm like, you're still following me. <laughs> I'm unfollowing you now. Yes, you didn't. He, they never, it's like when they go, I'm moving to Canada if he wins. Uh, you're not moving right. to Canada, Jimmy Kimmel or whoever. <laughs> you're still here. But yeah. you know, we're so tribal now, and we've always been tribal. It's human nature, blah blah. But it never felt tribal this much with. Republican Democrat. It felt tribal with like men versus women, black yeah. versus white, rich versus poor, whatever. And now it's all political. 
Right. And it's strange. But some towns you still hit, and they're like, if you go to like Appleton, Wisconsin or something, I feel like that's like a city where they still keep their political beliefs to themselves. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? There's some cities that are, and you're like, oh yeah, there was a time where people did that. Yes. It was like rude to do that, yeah. but now it's like part of your fucking Twitter bio. I know, it's part of I your identity. I gotta say, I was, I did this show, the, the special, the Let's Make a Poop special in San Francisco, and I had Schneider on, and there were people oh, yeah. who didn't want me to book Schneider. And they actually... It ended up being a surprise guest. They didn't want to bill that Schneider was going to be one of our guests because right. they thought people would boycott it or something. It's, yeah, it's too. Uh, but then when he came on, he got a reasonable amount of applause. He didn't get booze, and I hit him pretty hard, hard enough that people were satisfied. Sure, you know. Uh, also, he's an old friend of yours too. It's like, that's yeah, the other oh yeah, thing. I'm not gonna. Uh, people were like, he was like, yeah, that's like an old friend. Like, what do you mean? Yes. So I shouldn't like be in touch with. Friends, right? Yeah, yeah. Wilman's queuing no. on. We still hang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought his magic episode at the Capitol was great too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> breaking the Pelosi. through the the Capitol steps. Yeah. Yeah. Pelosi's laptop disappeared. <laughs> oh my God! You hear Attell? By the way, we do Rex on here. I I think we both wrecked David Tell's new Netflix special. Yeah. He had a line that killed me where he said he always looks at like he's one of the. Uh, Queuing on people, he but said, I, I, I know what I, I have a real January sixth look. Yes, he goes. He goes. Yeah. But I'm a Biden man, Hunter Biden. <laughs> now, <laughs> just the that's king. a great fucking bait and switch. The king. Yeah, and it's no that's left good. and right can both laugh at that. 